Genesis chapter 34. And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, which bare to Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And when Sechem, the son of Hamor, the Hivite, prince of the country, saw her, he took her and lay with her and defiled her. And his soul clave to Dinah, the daughter of Jacob. And he loved the damsel and spoke kindly to the damsel. And Shechem spoke to his father Hamor, saying, Get me this damsel to wife. And Jacob heard that he had defiled Dinah, his daughter. Now his sons with the, his cattle in the field, and Jacob held his peace until they were come. And Hamor, the, son, the father of Sechem, went out to Jacob to commune with him. And the sons of Jacob came out of the field when they heard it. And the men were grieved, and they were very wroth, because he had folly in Israel in lying with Jacob's daughter, which thing ought not to be done. And Hamor communed with them, saying, The soul of my son Sechem longeth for your daughter. I pray you, give him to wife. Give him her to wife. And make marriages with us, and give your daughters to us, and take our daughters to you. And you shall dwell with us, and the land shall be before you. Dwell and trade therein, and get possessions therein. And Sechem said to the there, and Sechem said to her father and to her brethren, Let me find grace in your eyes, and what you shall say to me I will give. Ask me never so much dowry and gift. I will give according as you say to me, but give me the damsel to wife. And the sons of Jacob answered Sechem and Hamor his father deceitfully and said, Because he has defiled Dinah their sister. They said, Then we cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised for what would be a reproach to us. But in this will we consent to you if you will be as we that every male of you be circumcised. Then we will give our daughters to you and we will take your daughters to us and we will dwell with you and we will be come one people. But if you will not hearken to us to be circumcised, then we will take our daughter and we will be gone. And their words please Hamor and Sechem Hamor's son. And the young man deferred not to do the thing because he had delight in Jacob's daughter and he was more honorable than all the house of his father. And Hamor and Sechem his son came to the gate of their city and communed with the men of their city, saying, These men are peaceable with us. Therefore let them dwell in the land and trade therein. For the land, behold, it is large enough for them. Let us take their daughters to us for wives, and let us give them our daughters. Only herein will the men consent to us to dwell with us, to be one people, if every male among us be circumcised as they are circumcised. Shall not their cattle and their substance and every beast of theirs be ours? Only let us consent to them, and they will dwell with us. And to Hamor and to Sechem his son hearkened all that went out of the gate of the city, and every male was circumcised, all that went out of the gate of his city. And it came to pass on the third day, when they were sore, that the sons of Levi... <coughs> that two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brethren, took each man his sword and came upon the city boldly and slew all the males. They slew Haman and Sechem, his son with the edge of the sword, and took Dinah out of Sechem's house and went out. The sons of Jacob came upon the slain and spoiled the city because they had defiled their sister. They took their sheep, their oxen, their asses, and that which was in the city, and that which was in the field, and all their wealth, and all their little ones, and their wives they took captive, and spoiled even all that was in the house. And Jacob said to Simeon and Levi, You have troubled me to make a stink among the inhabitants of the land, among the Canaanites and the Perizzites. And I, being few in number, they shall gather themselves against me, and slay me, and I shall be destroyed, and I and my house. And they said, Should 
he deal with our sister as with an harlot?